Hello and welcome back to my channel. Let's finish up this Mustang. What I'm doing, I'm prepping the engine bay to paint. I'm going to paint in glossy black. What I'm doing, I already scuffed everything down with a red scotch bright. Right here, that's all I'm doing. I'm just scuffing every single little nook and cranny that this uh, engine bay has. So um, that's where I'm at right now. All I need to finish is uh, the sides from the engine bay and uh, I can start painting. So uh, let me just finish it up and bring you back when I'm going to paint the engine bay. There it is. Everything has been sanded. Every little nook and cranny of this engine bay has been sanded and on the outside also. Okay, so it's ready to paint. Now everything has been covered that needs to be covered. Now the coils, I did cover them because they're powder coated. And if I paint over the powder coating, I'm going to ruin the powder coating. And the spring is the one that moves a lot when the car is in motion. So that paint is going to crack. It's better off with the powder coating. That's the reason I'm not going to paint that. But everything else, it's going to get painted uh, black. So... Uh, let me just clean it up. I'm going to clean it with some acetone with a micro uh, fiber towel. Clean it up. Have it ready for paint. All right. Everything has been uh, cleaned with some acetone nice and clean now let me just put the wheels back on so i can move the car and uh pressure wash the entire painting area so that i can bring the car back in cover everything that's not going to get black and uh start painting all right everything is covered up we're good to go the gun i'm going to be using is my ani a and i uh r160 hvlp with a 1.2 tip that's the gun I'm going to be using to paint the sealer, the base, and the clear. All right, let's just get started. And there it is, one coat. Uh, it's very uncomfortable to try to get every little nook and cranny. Uh, but once I choked down the gun, I just uh, started to aim it wherever I can uh, spray the paint. 
so uh, that's the reason I'm using the small one the the, the mini uh, paint gun because of these little tight crevices okay but uh, let me let it uh, dry for about 15 minutes come back start applying the first coat of uh, a base There it is, first coat. I'm gonna apply two more coats and uh, it'll be done. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes in between each coat. But it's looking real nice. Let me just wait the 15 minutes, I'll be back. Three coats of base have been applied. I'm gonna wait uh, 15 minutes for it to dry. Come back, start applying the clear. Here we go, let's start applying the clear. The gun I'm gonna be using, it's my Ani. A and I black HVOP with a 1.3 tip. All right, let's uh, let's start spraying that clear.
coming out, it's coming out. Um, this is the first coat. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes for it to dry a little bit. I didn't put a heavy coat. I'm gonna add two more coats to clear. But this is the first coat, came out real nice. Let me just wait the 15 minutes, come back. There it is, the three coats of uh, clear. And that is how you paint an engine bay. Now, if you have the motor installed, it's still the same process. The only thing is that you're gonna have to cover a lot of little components, the motor, a lot of wires, and a lot of little components to paint it. But the application and everything is the same. Uh, you saw me use the real thin I choked up the gun as much as possible so that it can shoot just a straight line so that I can reach from that side to this area from this side to that area that's the best way without rubbing uh, uh, any of the other parts that's the reason I did it that way but sorry about the noise guys it's uh, the clear on the bottom that's why I placed this uh, plastic under underneath but yeah that's the way it is that's the way you do it there it is, nice, clean, shiny, and uh, now I'm just gonna let it uh, dry for a couple of days and uh, start on the on the body. All right, let's uh, hope you guys liked it. Let's just wait for a couple of days. I'll show it to you out in the sun so that you can see how it looks. All right, there it is. Came out real nice, real shiny, and. Uh, that's it. This is how you paint the engine bay. I hope you like it. Hope you now know how to do it. And uh, let's uh, just continue. Let's continue with the the cab of the of the Mustang. All right, guys, share the video, like the video, uh, hit that thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you next weekend. All right. Thank you. And like always. God bless.